I don't mind people being scared of me, I actually enjoy it. Oh, oh, scary! Well, that's good. What a relief, because to be honest with you, I am terrified. Now, I would like to say in my past videos, I completely understand where they are coming from. You know, the ones that identify as an alien. This one takes it to a whole other extreme. Why would you want to become a genderless monster, mate? It's just like funny because it's under this I'm literally just like a five foot three human. Hilarious. Just imagine going through all this effort to just get a few giggles. I have days off because obviously I'm not trying to like get like harassed like every day. There's a lot of loud reactions, especially looking like this. I don't know, it's strange. Calling this strange is definitely, uh, that's definitely one word for it. Although I could also think of countless other words, but at the same time, I don't really want to be demonetized. Now, I, uh, I'm a strong believer in, uh, if you generally have to say, I'm taking a few days off on the way you've dressed, surely you must know yourself. What the f*** are you wearing? I'm Jasmine Bean and I'm into post-human, creepy and Japanese fashion. A lot of people feel like people that dress like this are wasting their body, but I feel that I'm wasting my body by not doing this. Shut up, man! Yes, I feel like I'm wasting my body when I'm not doing this. <laughs> Shut up! Because I look at little Jason here and I think to myself, Jason, mate! What are you doing, you idiot? You are wasting your body dressing like that. Jason, mate, what are you doing with your life? You need to get more into Japanese creepy fashion. Ugh, much better, Jason. I'd like to say my inspiration is a bit of, like, fantasy, fairies, and cool little, like, creatures, like, mytho mythological? Holy turds, guys. It knows English. Holy shit! It's evolving. We need to kill it. I take inspiration from fairies. Yeah, uh... This spider, I wore it to like this con and I was like carrying the spider around like that as if it was like my pet. Now, uh, I'm not, I'm not the best when it comes to, uh, recognizing breeds of dogs. But, uh, if you could help me down in the comments down below, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that is a Labrador, right? I started just with drag makeup. I was doing like face looks. <gasps> And it just kept on evolving and evolving. It just feels like it's like cutting into my eye. But it's okay. Anything for the look. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, yes. I, I feel like it's cutting it. Oh, my eye is bleeding. My eye is bleeding now. I, I have lost vision in my in my right eye. It's okay, though. Any Anything for the look. Oh, my God. I am, I'm permanently blind. I Oh, my. F oh, my. Get mum. Get mum. 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 Everyone has to suffer a bit for fashion. Yes, guys, I mean, you know me now. You know me very well. I can safely say I 100% agree with this woman. You need to sacrifice a little bit for fashion, guys. Leave a like down below if you sacrifice a little bit each day for fashion. A nullification is just like when you have no sexual organs, or at least that you can see. Right now I'm wearing a binder just to give off more of like the like alien genderless look my god it, it seriously is turning into like a trend now isn't it i know i've been saying this as like a little bit of a joke in the previous video saying oh boys becoming an alien it's probing time it's the next trend you know like tiktok or men's lace shirt yeah i didn't i didn't just make that up that is actually a real thing and i know it is because i read it on the internet so it must be true but it generally is becoming a trend isn't it and what do you mean no sexual just because you wear clothes and you can't see them doesn't mean you don't have them i think she needs to spend less time putting on makeup and more time in biology class because that is not how that works I'd like to wear it more on my off days, but it does get quite damaging for your ribs. One day, hopefully I'll have surgery just to be like completely like nothing. Okay, yeah, no, she definitely needs to take more biology classes. So one day I can become nothing. <laughs> just a pink wig on the floor. I'm telling you boys and girls, videos of people identifying as a ghost. It is coming in 2020. They're coming. This is, um, gum. That's her name. <laughs> Oh, what a cute, what a cute doll. I like how she's generally breaking her doll's arms and neck as she's just playing with it.
This is Gum. She's my favorite doll. I've had her since seven years old, and I love her so much. People think that if you're looking like this, that you just are in some fantasy world and not having a job and you don't do real life stuff. Mary and Jesus with my nose. But you have to as much as you don't want to, and that's just like the reality of it. These are my weapons. I <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay, wait one second. Does she like beat people up for like a living or something? That's her job, isn't it? I don't like to work, but you have to. You need to make money somehow. I'm a full-time robber. I have these weapons to deal with the haters. Bro, why she got weapons underneath her bed? <laughs> this all seems a little bit unnecessary. I think underneath my bed, I probably have a few socks, probably some lost DVDs and a lost pillow or something. I ain't got weapons underneath my bed. <laughs> I just need to confirm this for all the American viewers. This is not how a typical Brit normally lives, I promise. Unless you're from East London, then yeah, this sounds about right. I'd like to, like, I would like to have a lot more. I wanted to get, like, a few swords and stuff, but again, they're really expensive. I wanted to hang this above my bed, like that, but then I realized that if it fell, like, it would probably kill me. <laughs> is that allowed? I know weapons aren't allowed in London, but this isn't real. But it is, but it's not. My god, make up your mind, please. I mean, to be honest with you, considering uh, you're holding it in your hand right now, it definitely seems pretty real to me. That's like someone holding a gun and being like, Do I feel lucky? Well, it's, it's not real. This is Elmo. He's blind. I'm legally blind. Mostly blind, but... Thank God for that. Elmo's gonna get a bit of a nasty shock if he suddenly gets his eyesight back and looks at his mum. Stop. Oh my God, you're making me look like such a bad mum. Yes, the fact that the chinchilla is walking over you, that is the thing that's making you look like a bad mum. Not the fact that you literally look like a scarecrow in creepy makeup. No, no, that's normal. Most mums dress like that anyway. To be honest with you, this is about roughly the same amount of makeup up most english girls do put on anyway but then boys and girls something terrible happened no <laughs> that was actually the last time we did see elmo although the cameras did cut off and the uh the girl did run back into her bedroom and she started chasing the chinchilla around her house i just want to like go and leave the house and do stuff but people are very mean <laughs> yeah you know guys elmo here just wants to go and do his own thing like go domino's order a pizza go down the pub go and see his other chinchilla friend go to a strip club you know he's a grown chinchilla mate he wants to do his own thing i like then how she tries to then brush that onto uh people being mean just because probably one boomer one day said uh, what she's wearing looked a little bit weird seven years ago and now people are automatically terrible <laughs> I met a lot of my friends from online. One of them, Salvia. We met at Electroworks. It's a club in London. Oh my god. When do you think they couldn't get any more scarier? And why is Salvia talking to me like I should know this club? We met at Electroworks. It's a club in London. If you don't know. Hello. She looks like the type of girl that just gets angry for being angry in the first place. At least the other one smiles. My god. When a body meets a body, there's just no choice but to become bestie westies. Yeah, come on guys, you know that. You don't have a choice but to become bestie westies. Everybody knows that. <laughs> What, what even is this video? BTV should have never have uploaded this. Should have gone straight into the recycling bin. What were they thinking? I don't think I'll ever stop. <laughs> when I'm just like 17, before I die, I want to just like try everything. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought she said, before I turn 17 and die, I want to try everything. Like, bro, you, you, ain't got mu you ain't got much longer. You need to cross off that bucket list quickly. Not the fact that she said 17 makes it any better, because how does this count as I want to try everything? But at the end of the day, fair enough. It's not like she's really hurting anyone. Maybe scaring a few children here and there, but uh... Oh well. Definitely not sending any hate to her or anything like that. I just thought this was kind of a bit shocking and I really wanted to just go over this video today and just and just check it out with you guys. So it definitely was a bit strange. I think we can all agree with that. But anyway, boys and girls, with that being said, that is pretty much it of today's video. And if you did enjoy this video, mate, make sure to hit that like button. Also come and follow me on all my social medias as it is really appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>